Hi, this is Ilma Art Studios photograph for today. That's a fall um, photograph in Badlands, one of the nice uh, clay formation in round Orangeville. Hi, how are you today? I'd like to share my poem devotional, which is extracted from James 3 verses 14 to 15. It says, if you are bitterly jealous and there is selfish ambition in your heart, don't cover up the truth with boasting and lying. For jealousy and selfishness are not God's kind of wisdom. Such things are earthly, unspiritual, and demonic. And here's my poem. Watch out for jealousy. Do you find yourself longing for someone or something you don't have? you feel empty and compare yourself with others and obsess for love. If you are bitterly jealous and there is selfish ambition in your heart, don't cover up the truth. Seek God first, be faithful and he will impart. Jealousy is a poison that contaminates your whole person. It can disguise itself in compliments, concern or reason. Jealousy is rooted in selfishness, pride, and envy. It binds you to lies and is a scheme of the enemy. And here's my essay. Watch out for any form of jealousy in your life. The Bible cautions us in Galatians 5, 19 to 21 about the results of the sinful nature and jealousy is one of them. There are many stories in the Bible that shows the aftermath of jealousy. Cain killed Abel because of jealousy. Joseph's brothers plotted to kill him because their fa father favored Joseph more than them. Saul plotted to exterminate David because of jealousy. Jealousy roots from selfishness and is not from God. And here's my prayer. Lord, keep me away from any form of envy or jealousy. Reflection. How do you deal with jealousy according to James' book? And just a few words about that. Uh, jealousy has uh, is one of the generational sins that run down in our family and at the time that I was exposed to a very abusive relationship and since I had a lot of trust issues it was really really a part of my life to be jealous jealous uh, and suspect people <coughs> Um, I do my best not to get into it anymore, but uh, and God has cleansed me from jealousy and envy. But I still become the object of people's jealousy and envy. And um, because of that, sometimes I react to it. And I think because I have focused more on others now than on myself, God has freed me from all kinds of selfishness and um, that it's not anymore my way or the highway, but it's more what God's way is and what God's will is that I would want to follow. Obedi disobedience and rebellion was one of my generational sins that I have uh, been delivered from and, and I thank God and I praise God for doing that in my life. So I caution you to watch yourself whenever you feel jealous or you start comparing yourself with somebody because we are all different. God has given us all, all different gifts and we have to be thankful for whatever He has given us. Thanks for watching and have a wonderful day.